This is Aaron Reese, owner and head instructor of Aces Martial Arts in St. George. And after years of hard training, Reese can now add the title of world champion to his marquee, thanks to a dominant performance at the World Karate Championships at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. Big accomplishment, you know, something that I've been chasing for for the past 12 years. Uh, you know, since I was 18, you know, it's something that uh, you know, I'd always aspired to do and you know, it always come in second or third, you know, every year since then. So I was always been rated in the top three in the world, but was never been able to, you know, capture that championship. You know, I've been fortunate to win nationals and internationals, but the world title would always slip my fingers, you know, for various reasons. So for me, you know, it's a, it's a big accomplishment and I'm uh, very happy for that. Now make no mistake, winning two world titles by defeating eight opponents, that's an amazing feat but it's hardly the toughest battle that Aaron has won in his life. One of the biggest things uh, for me to overcome was, you know, just my health. Uh, when I was 18, I was diagnosed with cancer, uh, you know, and I just started competing professionally. I'd won the first three uh, major events and was thinking I was on my way when, you know, I was told by the doctors I had cancer and had to, you know, undergo chemotherapy, you know, for about uh, five to six months. And, uh, you know, after that, just the recovery period from there, was about another year before I was able to get back into action. Aaron wasn't the only Reese to bring home a world title at the event, as his seven-year-old son Christian brought home gold for the second straight year. And like his father, he possesses the fighter spirit. The biggest thing that I was uh, really, that I'd say I, I picked up from, especially from this last one, in his last match uh, against a, a fighter from, uh, from Mexico, was uh, you know, his drive not to give up. You know, he was uh, hurt early on in his match and uh, came back to, to do really well, so I was very, excited uh, to see that and you know see him push through you know when uh, something uh, came and blocked his way that he's able to push through that and fight through. I'm always nervous well when I just start to fight it I don't get nervous anymore. So will the Reese boys be back to defend their titles next year? Absolutely you know uh, it's funny because I thought for sure after you know finally you know winning too that I'd, that I'd be done but uh, all my old teammates said, no, nah, I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, you did really good. So I I'm, I'm pretty sure, I mean, so far, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited and looking forward to going back and defending it. I'm really happy. I'm trying, I'm going to win another world title. I'm going to try to. Reporting for KCSG Southern Utah Sports Choice, I'm Pete Sumalong.